I think the stars kind of align, and I think at this point in my career, everyone was getting to know uh, not only me but also my wife. Um, you know, if you if you know me, then you know we're super open about our marriage on Instagram and stuff. And so, uh, my wife is definitely more famous than I am. And so, um, you know, this song I think just very it just transcended a lot to the fans, and um, a lot of people use it as their wedding song and. Boyfriends tried to woo girls to get them to date them with this song, and uh, I don't know. I think it just all kind of lined up. So, super pumped for that. Yeah. No, we didn't. I, I know for me personally, I drank way too much <laughs> because I didn't think we would even come close. <laughs> and I'm oh almost convinced gosh. it's an it's an elaborate hoax. So the curtain's going to yeah. come up, and it's going to be like, just kidding, you didn't win. Sitting across the street last year at the Palm in the bar, watching it on TV, and you know, seeing performances like Chris Stapleton and having his career explode and just seeing dreams come true minute by minute. Uh, that was one year ago. And so tonight I'm sitting and I, I don't know, the first thing I thought about were just like my parents in the audience and um, everyone back home at their watching parties. Like uh, it, it just hit me like it was real. And I don't know, I'm still processing it, I think. We're all friends and it's not like some kind of competition necessarily like musically where we're trying to squash out something or we're in some kind of feud but people try to make it out to be that and, and it's just not uh well we really just wanted to have a lot of women on stage gorgeous strong talented amazing women because i feel like our country format could use some more so let's bring them all up on stage at one time